Corgis are the short-legged fluffy dogs that the internet has grown to love and adore. They're loyal dogs with a big personality, making them hard to resist. And while playing with a corgi is all fun and games, owning one is another story. So before you bring a corgi at home, watch these nine reasons why you should not get a corgi. Number one, corgis can shed a lot more than you expect. Words cannot describe the amount of hair that comes off of these dogs. Unlike some dog breeds, corgis shed year round. Their shedding tends to increase during seasonal changes, but they have a hefty amount of hair output all year long. Their double coat comes in handy for keeping their skin protected and helping them manage their body temperature, but it is constantly adjusting its thickness to adapt to their environment. This poses a huge problem for people that wear uniforms to work, as well as individuals who suffer from dog allergies. They are anything but hypoallergenic. Number two, corgis are incredibly smart. Most corgis learn new behaviors easily, which means it won't be hard to teach them to sit, stay, and come when called. Unfortunately, they will also learn bad habits equally as quickly. For example, they will learn to walk on a leash quickly, but they will also learn that you can't catch them if they are not on a leash and will dart the other way to avoid being caught. Corgis are very independent dogs and they think for themselves. Just because they understand what you want them to do, that doesn't mean that they will be obedient and do it. Because of this, they require consistent training and strict discipline from an experienced owner. Generally speaking, they are not good dogs for first-time dog owners. Number three, they require a strict diet. If given the opportunity, corgis will literally eat themselves to death. Therefore, they should never be free-fed they are highly prone to becoming overweight. Their food intake should always remain under a watchful eye to prevent injury. Number four, they are vocal and bart. These aren't the best apartment dogs for many reasons, but one reason in particular is their eardrum piercing barks. Corgis are known for being highly communicative, so they bark at just about everything. If you live next to noise sensitive neighbors and you have a talkative corgi, it can certainly lead to trouble if you aren't careful. Genetically, corgis are herding dogs, and barking is an important part of monitoring and moving animals. Although barking is a trainable behavior, even training has its limitations. When it comes to corgis, you will never be able to outtrain genetics. Number five, corgis need a lot of daily stimulation to thrive. Corgis don't like to be left alone for a long time. Their definition of length is going to be different than what most humans would consider. If your dog is left unattended for more than a couple of hours, then their boredom can quickly turn into destruction. Working full-time with a Pembroke Welch Corgi around means you'll need to supply your home with numerous toys and diversions to protect your furniture, shoes, and linens. Number six, they are indoor dogs. While some dog breeds are perfectly content to live in the backyard the majority of their lives, corgis are not these kinds of dogs. The first reason goes back to the point above, which is that corgis don't do well in warm weather. The invention of air conditioning is just as beneficial to corgis as it is to us. The second reason is that corgis are extremely social animals. Any corgi owner will tell you that a corgi will require almost constant attention. They love to be pet, played with, to follow you around, and share a space with you. Corgis don't tend to develop separation anxiety when you leave the house for work or errands, but living away from you in the backyard can take its toll on your pet corgi. Similarly, if your family tends to spend most of its time shut away in separate rooms, a corgi might not be the ideal dog for you. Number seven corgis are not usually good with small animals, if you have other dogs at home, then a corgi can often fit right in with the pack. Even cats do well with this breed, especially if the animals had a chance to grow up together. Some corgis can be problematic in households where there are small pets since their herding instincts will kick in right away. If you have rodents, bunnies, or other little creatures as part of your pet family, 
then you'll want to supervise your Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh Corgi carefully to ensure that an unfortunate circumstance doesn't occur in your home. Number 8 Corgi are expensive. Purebred Corgis are expensive. Corgi prices usually range from $800 to $4,000 depending on the quality of the dog. Due to the rising demand, breeders are charging more and more for their dogs. If you look hard enough, you might be able to find a corgi at a bargain price, but this can be dangerous. Like I said before, corgis are prone to several genetic problems, some of which are life-altering. Reputable breeders will test their dogs for these genetic dispositions to ensure their puppies will not develop these problems. These tests are costly and contribute to the overall cost of the dog. If these tests are not conducted, the treatment for things like hip dysplasia and degenerative myelopathy can cost tens of thousands of dollars. If $4,000 for a corgi is too expensive, Save yourself the heartache and hardship and wait until you can afford an appropriately bred, health-tested dog. Number 9 Corgis are bossy. Bossy is honestly an understatement. Corgis are stubborn and smart. They are incessant boundary pushers who will work to get exactly what they want. This means that if you are eating your dinner, they will stare at you endlessly and even bump your legs or bark to try and get some food. If they want your attention, they will force their way onto your lap and roll around, demanding that you pet them or give them the attention that they desire. If given the opportunity, they will use their cuteness to their benefit and take advantage of you.